Hi YouTube, today this video is going to be about these Nike Air Max 90s. They are hot pink and they cost about $100, a little over $100. They are brand new and they are size 7 in youth, size 9 in women's. I am going to be embellishing these shoes today. The area of the shoe that I will be embellishing is the check mark area. That's the only area that I'm going to embellish. And this is the E6000 glue that's going to adhere the stones to the shoe. Here is a pick me up stick, but you can use any type of wax stick or pickup tool. And these are three millimeter rhinestones that I will be using. And you just need some type of lid to put your rhinestones in. The rhinestones came from eBay. And they're just resin. They're like the cheaper, cheapest kind that you can get. And here I am just adding the stones to the check mark. I put a little bit of glue there. You do want to move in a nice brief fashion. Not too fast, but take it slow and just put little bits of glue so you can work in a small cluster of an area so the glue doesn't dry out because it will get rubbery and then the stones won't stick that well. So just go ahead and take a look how I'm just placing the stones. It's not any special way. I'm just placing them and trying to fill up the check mark as best and close as possible. Neatly as you can, continue your flow of just filling up the check mark with rhinestones as best and close as neatly as you possibly can. It's really simple and this shouldn't take you that long. Um, if you want to add more stones to the shoe, of course, that's up to you and that'd be really cute as well. Um, I even thought about maybe in the future, like if I had a shoe like this, I'd add some stones the same color as the shoe. It's completely up to you, whatever idea that you have in mind. As you can see, just go ahead and you can move them around as the glue is still drying. If you put something in a spot where you didn't like it and you can line it up better. Ooh, and please forgive me child for these nails, honey. It was the shutdown and my nail tech was not doing nails. So that's why I'm looking the way I'm looking in this video. So I know how it's looking. So let's just get that out the way. It's the reason why. 
but you just continue to place the stones real tight. So the less pink you can see behind where you have the stones, the better. It just looks a lot better. See, I'm just moving them closer or to the edge so I can come in between. And like I said, I use three millimeter, but if you have some two millimeter, you can go in those even smaller spaces and fill those in as well. So just keep going.
As you can see here, I completed the first side. Now I'm working on the inner side of the shoe, doing the other check mark on the shoe. So it's pretty much the same exact method you did on the outside check mark. You just go ahead, apply your glue, make sure you're putting the rhinestones as closely and neatly together so you don't see so much pink behind the stones. Okay, here is the finished results. I had already previously did the first shoe. I just wanted to show you all on camera how to do one of the shoes. And I think they are very cute. And they look even better outside when the sunlight hits these um, rhinestones. And these are AB, are these AB rhinestones? No, I think these are just regular clear rhinestones and they still look very sparkly and pretty in the sunlight. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like, share, and subscribe if that's what you'd like to do. And I'll have more videos coming for you pretty soon. And I'll also insert a before and after picture so you can see how they look. I think they look amazing. And pink is my absolute favorite color. So I'm really digging these. But thanks for watching again. Bye-bye.